how necessary are back of the envelope calculations in system design and will not doing them hurt my score? The TLDR is that back of the envelope estimations are important, but they should be used to justify a decision. The results of those calculations should impact what you do next. Blindly doing back of the envelope estimations at the very beginning of the interview is oftentimes not that important. But if, for example, you're getting towards the end of the interview, you're getting into deep dives, and now you're talking about a non-functional requirement about scaling, then it's completely reasonable to do some math in order to justify whether or not you need to shard. This could either be your throughput calculations, your total storage, but doing those calculations in context is far more interesting for the interviewer than blanket estimations up front. I, I have never seen an interviewer who said, hey, this guy can't do mental arithmetic under pressure without a calculator. He can't be hired. Or I've never seen it happen. Never. On yeah. the other hand, what people might be able to say would be, well, they made this decision later on that I don't think scales. It's more often that interviewers in their notes are writing that these decisions aren't well justified. And those numbers would have helped the justification um, than any of the mechanics of doing a back of the envelope estimate. I think this is a disservice from our predecessors in, in people putting together system design material, that they included this as a step, that everybody must do this back of the envelope calculation. The reality is that it just doesn't matter in many cases. Like, okay, you've got cash instances, and it might be one or it might be seven, um, but that doesn't really make a difference in the rest of the design.